child. Rocket child. Yeah. Hello, this is Rocket Child. In this video, I'll be showing you how I made my portable recording studio, which lets me record music that you often hear. Ironically, this original video was recorded without the stereo because I couldn't use it and show it at the same time, which is why I have to do a whole new voice recording to get rid of all that background noise and such. I got this idea from another creator on YouTube. Her name is Laura Camfer, and she made a portable podcast studio in a similar way inside of a, a little box. So I figured that would be a great idea if I had to go and do jobs where I needed to travel to record sound or music, I would have the capacity to do so. And so far it's actually worked out really well. So stay tuned to see, uh, to see the recording studio. So here is the recording studio. So I went to my local hardware store and got a silver hard case. One, it looks really cool, but two, it's a really strong carry case, which means that it'll do its job by protecting the electrical supplies that I'll have inside. So if we open it up and have a look, we've got several different compartments. I made it in a modular style, so if I get new equipment in the future, I could add them in. So here on the surface level, you could see my stage mic. I have my audio interface there and a lamp arm that I customized to make into a microphone holder and a little keyboard. I've left that top part flat so that I can put my laptop as well for when I'm recording. So here is my little audio interface. It allows me to plug in various instruments and microphones and there are holes at the back that allow me to put the cords in and keep everything all tidy looking. The compartments are made out of cardboard, the finest cardboardium you can find, and I've covered it in felt so that way it matches all my other things. It has a clean and professional look and it's inspired by poker chip cases. So when we open it up, it's quite simple on the inside. I have the attachment for my microphone stand, the microphone cables, as well as the components that let me attach the lamp arm to the table. I've left it very simple on the inside because as I said if I buy more recording equipment in the future such as guitar effects pedals or something like that it'll be able to fit in very loosely. What's important about this case because it is a travel case is making sure to keep things light but also easy to assemble and disassemble. So here is an example where I am getting the case ready to use. So here I have a gooseneck lamp arm. I believe they sell microphone stands like this now. However, at the time that I made the studio, it was at the beginning of when the COVID lockdowns were happening and everything was sold out of the shops um, very fast. So I had to be inventive. I took um, a small microphone kind of tripod that I already had and took the end of it off and customized it so that it would go where the lamp used to be on the arm. So what you need to do is get a strong surface where you could weigh it down with, with the clamp to properly hold it. Uh, I have a stage microphone which is quite heavy. So for the purpose of this demonstration, as you can see, I have my tiny little serving tray 
so I can make a beautiful video. The tray is a little bit too small and lightweight to hold the microphone in place properly, but for the purpose of this tour video, you'll see how it, how it works together. Ta-da! This here is a little Yamaha keyboard. I actually had it when I was little and used it as a little travel piano when I went on holiday to Canada. And it's been in storage for a very long time. And when I thought of this idea, I thought it would be cool to just have the, just have a keyboard accessible. So if I need to make music on the go, just record little patterns, I've got something there and it fits perfectly so I have electrical cabling ties glued to the case and that's how I keep it in place and then I have an adapter jack that I can plug into the side and then put into the interface. So now after I've shown you all the components we can connect the little recording studio to my laptop using a recording software and then we can plug in the instruments to record some music like on my little piano.